tucked you in. Time travel. One of mankind's oldest fantasies. I mean, how cool would it be if you had a time machine with which you could catapult yourself back to the past or flash forward to the distant future? Yeah, the possibilities would be many, many one too. <laughs> you could send your mother-in-law back to the Jurassic era, where she belongs. You could even kill Justin Bieber before he became famous for the betterment of humankind. Or just go for a short trip to the future to check out the latest iPhone 632. <laughs> Basically, with a time machine, the past and the future would become the ultimate holiday destinations. And so while your friends might still go to the Costa del Sol for their holidays, you could go and hunt dinosaurs, drink champagne on the Titanic, welcome Columbus when he first set foot on the shores of America with a big techno party, <laughs> or even piss off God Almighty by getting the Virgin Mary pregnant before he had a chance to do so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, unfortunately, time travel is the topic of wild science fiction adventures, but we all know that in reality, we're all stuck in the present moment. At least that's how it seems, because according to the two pillars of modern science, quantum mechanics on the one hand, and Einstein's theory of general relativity on the other, time travel seems, at least theoretically, to be perfectly possible. That's right, just as we're free to move around in the three dimensions of space, back and forth, left and right, up and down, so it seems, according to the laws of physics, we're also free to move around in time. Now, of course, the practical and the technological challenges of building a real time machine are humongous. Yeah. If you want to travel to the future, for instance, well, you'd better upgrade your fitness routine as you will have to run at speeds close to about 300,000 kilometers a second. And if you want to visit the past, well, then you first have to build a wormhole through the four-dimensional space-time fabric and, of course, induce sufficient amounts of negative energy to prevent the gravitation explosion of the Dyson rosen bridge. Uh, but these are just details. Yeah? <laughs> the one message to take home is that time travel is possible on paper and that the day will come when all of this science fiction will have turned into science fact. Now, if you like time travel movies like Back to the Future uh, or, or the highly acclaimed Hot Up Time Machine, uh, which funnily enough just didn't make the cut for the Oscar nominations, then you know that whenever you travel to the past and start messing around with the past, things get out of hand pretty quickly with the most disastrous consequences. In other words, if you, as a young, enthusiastic chrononaut, fail to pay just a little bit of attention, then you're bound to induce one or the other time travel paradox in the past, and what then? Now, the most famous time travel paradox, the grandfather of all time travel paradoxes, is the so-called grandfather paradox, also known as the Oops, I think I just shot granddaddy paradox. And uh, it goes pretty much as follows. You, you jump in your DeLorean, you travel back to the past, and you meet your grandfather as a little boy. Now, there are a couple of, there are a couple of things you could do at that point. Uh, you could go and play soccer with him, uh, maybe visit the local zoo. But for some mysterious reason, the best thing you can come up with is to take out your shotgun, <laughs> aim, and pull the trigger. Granted, that probably wasn't your smartest move, because what happens now? Well, your grandfather obviously is dead, so he no longer grows up to become the handsome young man that married your grandmother. So the two no longer have any children, so one of your parents is no longer born. So you are no longer born, so you vanish into nothingness. But then, if you no longer exist, how could you possibly have gone to the past to kill your grandfather? So maybe your grandfather wasn't shot after all. Maybe he did marry your grandmother. Maybe both your parents were born. Maybe you were born after all. But then, of course, you could go back to the past to kill your grandfather. Clearly, we're dealing here with a completely inconsistent story, a real time travel paradox. Now, all of this is, of course, hilarious, great stuff for a new Hollywood movie. But remember, if time travel really is theoretically possible, then these kind of scenarios might actually happen one day. 
And in that case, I think it's becoming pretty urgent that modern science is taking a really close look at these paradoxes and tries to come up with a solution for them. Now, luckily, that's exactly the goal of my PhD. And it turns out there are actually two possible solutions to the grandfather paradox. Now, according to the first solution, you just can't kill your grandfather. Yeah, the fact that you're sitting here right now is living proof that your grandfather survived his childhood. So whenever you go to the past and try to kill him, the laws of nature will conspire in such a way to make you fail. Maybe you forgot to load your shotgun. Or maybe you slipped over a cleverly placed banana peel. Maybe a bird put right into your eye just when you wanted to pull the trigger, and so you accidentally shot Rick Torfs instead. I mean, the details really don't matter all that much, but the fact is, you will always fail, because you've always failed. <laughs> now, notice that you can travel to the past. Yeah, you can even be an active participant in the past, but you can't change the past. You can't rewrite history. Now, the second solution, funnily enough, contradicts the first one entirely, as it says you can kill your grandfather without any problem. The only thing that happens when you travel to the past is that you don't actually travel to your own past, but you travel to the past of a parallel universe. And so the little boy you end up killing is not your real grandfather, but a parallel grandfather, who then obviously dies and doesn't get any grandchildren, but that doesn't affect you since you came from that other universe. Now, if at this point you feel your brain is starting to melt, just be grateful I didn't tell you how time travel makes it possible to become your own mother by having sex with your father in the past. <laughs> anyway, let me wrap up by sending you home with two survival tips. If time travel would become a real possibility one day and you would decide to go on a holiday to, say, 1425, maybe even have a holiday romance, just leave that shotgun at home and always use a condom, you know, just in case. <laughs> Thank you. Peter Tesser. <laughs>